Hi, Carol here. Welcome to my craft room. Uh, once again, my battery died three quarters of the way through my card. I apologize. Um, uh, the only thing that I had completed was my coloring with the Peerless watercolors and the balloons. I put glossy accents on Monday night. I was practicing with the Peerless and love it. I love them. And I didn't mind the image coming out as my first time and I thought I'm just going to use it anyway on 140 pound cardstock with this dew, uh, dew drop set I used the desert sand on the top there because you can hardly see the image I didn't want a bold black image yet I wanted to use memento because I was using water uh, the peerless paint so uh, anyway and I love that little stack I cut out from my favorite things the balloon set, stamped it and cut it out with the dies and put glossy accents on each one. And it's a birthday card for a friend. And I took some uh, cardstock that I had that looked as 12 by 12 because on my um, card maker board uh, I cut it to, let me see, nine and nine and a half by nine and a half scored it at four and three quarters and I want to show you how I got this beautiful edge right here and it snaps in like that and all you have to do is find one of your punches that has this type of border that cuts out like that yet stays on the page so that at the top you can cut it off right the top part you cut that section off of each upper section here so this would be cut off right on the top and then it will just fold right in so it will go like this just a second it will go into the bottom fold like that and if you're just like me I'm putting it into I'm making a belly band to go around it but I'm still going to glue it down even though it clips on but uh, what's nice about this is if it's thick you don't have to glue it down. You can just snap it in there, and I think it's very pretty. So we'll go on to making the the envelope after. Um, I used, and this is a Fiskars. So if you want to get to see what exactly kind of pattern that is, it's like that. And you know what? I have almost 250 punches. I know because my unit that spins on three great big units holds a hundred and not 209 and they're th some are three piled and I'm not using them and that's crazy I need to start using my punch my punches um, so I'll show you a couple of things I'm using this Tim Holtz remember I bought five boxes of these there's 94 shapes every kind of shape stars hearts filigree uh, is it filigree I don't know what you call those twirly things and uh, look at the keys there's so many things on these and they were on sale at Michael's so I nabbed up all five boxes or more I can't remember because I got them so long ago and I'm using Technique Tuesday that stitch right there for the inside of my card my this is my image the Penny Black sign language I love you stamp right there and she's sweet I did the pinafore it, it's white here but I did it yellow and I put uh, Wink Estella clear on the, um, the, what do you call this thing here, crinoline. And um, I did red stickles. And I love, 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 love these two enamel accents. You have to get some. They're just like um, pearl, drop, pearl drops. What are those pearl things? Even pearl drops used to be for your teeth years ago or something. Um, what are those things? I have a lot of them. They're not the stickles. The, uh, where are they? I have tons of them. I just got to find one. Must be at this end. Oh, here's, there they are. They're at my, the, uh, liquid pearls. <laughs> pearl drops, that's funny. Yowzer. Anyway. So I used that. You, you could use either or, but look at these when they dry. Look at those little black eyeballs. And then I put, I grabbed my uh, Ink Essentials pen, right like this, and see those little black eyes on there? Can you see how they're raised up? Aren't they cute? They're like little wee, little wee eyes. 
So then I took a little, my pen and I just on the black did a little bit of white line. So it looked like eyeballs. And then I put the white essentials, enamel uh, accents on the pinafore. And I thought it came out really sweet, really sweet. So I'm satisfied with that. You know I like uh, vintage piled up cards as much as I can get on a card um, style. So um, then I took, where's my other punch? The fist cars punch that does the um, for ribbons that you can intertwine there and I used that on the black and I put some of my yellow ribbon in it I was doing I was actually filming this <laughs> and my camera went dead and then I put some glossy accents on this white this uh, one part right here can you see that and then um, trying to think I used uh, my red stickles on there doily i love the black and white paper catherine over on stamp nation is you catherine pooler is using a lot of black and white stripes and i love it i had to get me some then i took out one of those uh filigree that's what i want to call it and i put uh my stickles that's called gunpowder on here and then on the edges i took the stampin up black marker and I just went over the edges so you don't see the um, inside uh, it's not what is what is that made out of grunge board so you don't see the grunge board so I thought that was really nice and I think I'm going to I'm just going to set it there I took love you I'm not going to put I love you I took the love in black and then I did it in white and I took the uh, yellow Stampin' Up marker and I drew lines on here in the Daffodil Delight, the same as this uh, cute little ribbon that I put through there. And it's going to go up here. So why don't we do that? I absolutely love this uh, Lace Essentials Detail Glue. I just screwed that onto the top. I don't know if that's the way you do it, but sure works for me. Um, I'm gonna get a few more of these bottles because look at like I'm afraid to squeeze it because I don't want a blob to come out but I do want something to come out right let's see maybe I should start it on the paper here there we go There's a little jammed up there there we are and this is why I bought it for this and I got it over on my favorite things is it no I wow I can't remember where I got this I could put in so many orders but uh, I'm saying my favorite things that's the last place I ordered from or it could be over at Jane Davenport's order I don't know that's terrible I wanted to have a black uh, outline so I'm just gonna put love like this and then you underneath so let's get that like that let's put this on and when I did the black I did two layers on my vagabond I put one black on top of the white and it gives you a black outline everybody probably knows that too but I'm just going to mention it so frustrating when you make videos and you don't check your camera. You're so busy that you just think because the, it wasn't it wasn't plugged in. It was plugged in, but it wasn't plugged in at the it was plugged in at the wrong end. It's plugged into my camera, but not into the power. You need some power. There we are. Let's get in so you can see what I'm doing. That would be nice, wouldn't it? There we are. I'll turn it around there. When I look into my camera, I'm hoping it's my camera that's the blurry and you're not getting a blurred vision on this. I want to bring it down so that you see some of that black like that. There we are. I'll show you in a second here. I haven't decided to put that on. Isn't that pretty? Down there, it almost like it sets it in and it matches the... Um, and um, 
Did I tell you I put the Wink Estella on there with the enamel accents underneath first? Put the Wink Estella first. I think I did at the beginning. I've done this twice, <laughs> so I can't remember. So there's the love. And then on the U, I use the Stampin' Up! markers because I use the Stampin' Up! inks on my balloons. So the U. And I don't generally use yellow. I was looking at this other blog. I can't remember whose it was. She did in a, a scrapbook. That's terrible. I should remember them. I saw it on Google+. And um, I would like to raise this up. She used a whole out... Uh, a layout with yellow and it was stunning so I didn't feel so bad because sometimes when you use black and yellow it looks like a bumblebee and I didn't want this to come across like a bumblebee um, hmm. I think balloons on the top that's going to have to go on the white there to stand out there you go and if I take my tea ruler and I just line that up get out of there there we are I will be able to tell if this is straight which it's not see pull it down just a bit there now it's straight Okay. Isn't it funny how those little in, those little things get to us? Well, to me. <laughs> okay. So I want to use this. I might tuck it under her dress and kind of swing that around. Let's see if I can do it this way. Oh, that looks really nice. I like that. So I think on this one I'll use my clear Tombow Mono Multi. And sorry, was I I was probably doing that all out of camera. I'm tired, it's late. It's gonna be really late when I get this downloaded. That's what I can't stand about the videos. It takes forever to download. Okay. Put your neck in here, I'll just get this done here. Is that how I had it? Or could I do it like this? No, I think I had it like this. There and like that. Let's just hold it for a second like that. Yeah, because it's under her feet. Awesome. There we are. Let me bring it down just a tad. There. Right there. So here's what I have so far. I like her little pony up in the air. I like the sparkle of that gunpowder. Um, is it? Yes, yeah, gunpowder it's called. And I like that under her feet like that. And I love the way it the love matches the ribbon. So we're, we're okay. We're doing well. So I want to glue this black on the back of these. So why don't we do that right away? I'm switching up to the clear Tombow and I want to thank everybody I really you know I watch videos that I know that these talky videos that last a half an hour are really boring um, oh what am I doing see um, I want to show a little bit of black outline on here so like that I'm going to do it off a bit so that I have a shadow on here. So I'll leave that to sit. I know they can be boring, but um, they're called process videos. Somebody told me. I used to call them boring videos. Mine. But i that's all I watched. That's all I still watch. Now, I like to watch where they speed it up and all that and, you know, to get a technique down. But to be honest, I prefer process videos where I can relax watch somebody go through the process of making their card getting to know them as a person and um, you know stuff like that so I, I that's why I want to thank everybody because it is like 
it can be draining watching a half hour of me. <laughs> uh, I know, I know. I feel your pain. I have to spend 24-7 with me. Think about that. You're only spending a half an hour. And you can choose that half an hour. <laughs> there. Awesome. And then the other ones I had to cut out by hand. They didn't have dies. And I love, love, love this Tombow. I'm going shopping tomorrow. Yikes. And uh, I'm going to really watch what I buy, though. But I'm going to buy another one of these. I really like them. What I'm looking for shopping is, um, let me see, I put, I made a list. It's only a few things, too. I want to get some of the, yikes, isn't that awful? It's on my list. I just put it on my list. What did I put on there? You know, I kind of like it raising up like that, so I think I'm going to have to um, set something down on adapter. And then I have these two right here. So why don't we put these on our card? That would be awesome. That way I'd stop talking, right? All right, let me see. Oh, the first thing I want to do here is grab a glue dot. Right here. And just want to get this little, I'll forget these things and um, I wanted to go down here, did I? I had a plan for this, I really did. What was my plan? I think this was going up the side here. And this was going down in the bottom. Is that what I was doing? Or was it going to cover up that and then I was going to go across there? Yes, that was it, okay. See, I'm talking to myself. So I have the glue dot, are you with me? Am I in the camera? right there. So I'm going to put that down. And then I'm going to, how am I going to do this? I guess I could glue dot it small. I'll, I'll kind of twirl them up and put them on the end of my pokey tool. This is going underneath like that. And I'm going to start twisting it because the back is just as pretty as the front. So let me twist it there. Put this little dot right there. I'm going to see if this if this works. So let's twist it, twist it, twist it. Let's get this twist on. Like so. Bring it underneath there. Like so. What what's stopping it here? The glue. There we are. Okay. Then, something is stopping it there. I'm going to grab another glue dot to hold it there. Underneath. Just like that. There we are. When the recipient gets this, I want it to look pretty. I don't want all apart. So let's twist this like that. Let's see. Oh, I have a glue dot here. There we are. So I will twist, twist, twist. There. Twist it. Grab another glue dot. And twist it there. Like so. And another glue dot. And twist it. That that's right there. Like that. That is cute. So that's the bottom. I have to give everything texture. It's crazy. 
So there's the bottom, all twisted like that, attached to there. Let's move it, Carol. And then this one, let's grab another glue dot. Isn't this exciting? I'm boring myself. Um, let's get that in the corner there, like so. Another glue dot. Twist this up like that. Right there. There we are. You want to make sure your glue dots are, you can't see them. And then I'll grab one more glue dot to twist this one at the end because it needs to be twisted. Like so. Cute as a cute can be. I will put a little um, gem on there. And if I don't do it now, I won't do it. Let's see. love you, so let's put a heart. There we are. Get some glue. And, excuse my arm. Let's end that with a heart, like that. I'm not going to press it, I'm going to let it dry, and then I'm going to grab another one. Right there, it looks like I put some glossy accents. That's why I like this. These were five dollars. That's why I said I'm making my own, but they're beautiful, aren't they? Doodlebug design. Right there. Okay. And then one heart. I've got that heart like that. And this heart like this. There we are. I'll point it towards. Come on, Carol. This up and wrap those little things underneath it there. I'm so picky. Come on, Carol, just let it go. It's okay. There. Isn't that cute? Oh, it's not dry yet. Sorry. Just pushed it right off. Hmm. Let's get that piece of black glue off. This is where I'm going to start um, getting nervous. Nothing is going to go right. I'm seeing all these little details. Get that off piece of glue off there. I'm using all my time to get that one piece off. There. Okay. There. I'm not going to touch that. Just pick it up to show you. I haven't even done the inside yet. Isn't that cute? Okay. So I have that like that. I'm trying to do it. Let's get these on. All right. So... I'm going to use yellow thread. How much time do I have? Yikes, five minutes. So let's do the yellow. So all you want to do is tie it in a knot at the top, like this. Get a little knot in there. Am I too close? Then grab your balloon. Uh, I'm going to do yellow on yellow, should I? I guess so. And then pull it. There we go. Bring this knot. I want the knot to be seen at the front. I'm never going to get this done in time. Come on, Carol. Oh, kind of looks cute on the side. I might leave it on the side. Let's see. I'll just leave it there for now. Let's get a glue, some dimensionals here. Um, you know what I'm going to use? Well, I'm going to use this one now, but I'm just going to cut some off of my roll here. And I'm not using my good scissors. 
I'm using my yuck scissors. There we go. So, that's funny. There we are. So let's put this on. Oh, it's this one. I know some of it's going to be seen on the top. I guess I'm not going to get to the envelope and I'm not going to get to the um, inside. But, let's see. I'm going to do this one on a slant under her thing like hair, like that. Let's see. I want it covered. Sorry. I need it down just a tad more. I don't know if I'm going to get it. No. Nope. Okay, leave that there. Mm. I want this to be raised, though. I guess it's really going to be raised, eh? All right. Let me try a different route here. Hurry, Carol. Oh, I'm starting to starting to get okay do not fear let's grab another one of these dimensionals start to move fast here so I will put this dimensional right there so that this as I know the time is winding down it's making me nervous Okay, so I have that. That's quickly. Red's coming over here like this. So I just need to cut a little strip at the bottom. I'm going to undo it so I know where to place it here. So this one is going to be lengthwise right there. And just cut a little bit of that off and put it over top with this yellow showing like that. There we are. Grab some red twine. Red. How much time? One minute. Uh, thank you for joining me. I'm sorry. Like I tried to get this done. I really did. Which red? I thought I had a red that I could. I do. Okay. So let's tie the red and then I'll show you the card at the end. I'll put a pic on my blog and a pic at Stamp Nation so that you can see the finished project. I'll just work until the camera clicks off. Thank you so much for joining me and um, I love this card. I'm hoping the person I give it to likes it as well. Okay, so let's take some of this off. There. And this is going to come down under her hair into her hand like this. And then we'll do this card here. Have a blessed evening. I'll see you on the next video. I'll run, like I'll totally um, run one into another here for you like another video if you like and we will see you then